Hi guys, so to begin the tutorial I'm starting with an illuminating primer from Flormar. For the festival makeup I want it to be glowy and bronzy so I'm starting off with an illuminating base which is going to give me a nice glow. On my T-zone then I'm going to use this mattifying primer from L'Oreal. I personally have oily skin so I want my makeup to last throughout the festival so I'm going to pop this onto my T-zone. If you have oily skin um, definitely include this little step. For foundation I'm using Inglot HD and I'm mixing it with a little bit of that Flormar primer. Um, this is just going to make it easier to work with. Inglot HD can be quite drying and I sometimes find that it's hard to blend out so I always mix it with an illuminator and it applies much nicer. So this this is going to give me another little bit of a glow for the festival. So I've applied that all over my face and I'm just stippling the sponge over on top just to try and pick up any excess product. I'm going to prime my lids with the Essence Eyeshadow Primer and then I'm going to set it with this collection Sheer Loose Powder. So this is going to mattify the primer and give me a nice smooth base to begin blending my eyeshadows onto. I'm going to do my eyebrows off camera. I will of course link my eyebrow tutorial down below but I just wanted to save a little bit of time. The first eyeshadow I'm using is from Inglot and it's called 368 and it is a peachy colour. So I'm just going to roughly blend this into the crease from outer corner to inner corner and up towards the brow. Then I'm going in with 383 which is a kind of peachy orange shade and again this is going in pretty much the same area. I'm going to slowly build up the colour and I want to make sure that it's as intense from outer corner to inner corner because I am going to be doing a half cut crease. I'm now taking this MAC eyeshadow and it's called Orange and this is going more directly into the crease and it's going to be more intense on the outer corner but I am going to bring it all the way into the inner corner because as I said I am going to do a half cut crease so you want to make sure that you have some transition shades on the inner half of your eye. Next I'm taking Slow Burn from the Electric Palette from Urban Decay. This is like a really neon coral colour and this is again going more directly into the crease and intensifying it on the outer half and outer third of my kind of eye area. And then I'm going to just make sure that everything is blended and I'm going in with Morocco which is a deeper orange shade and this is from Makeup Geek. And I'm putting this kind of on the outer third area of the eye and the outer half of the crease. And I'm just going to make sure that that's just blended in with the rest of them. And next I'm going in with this Zoeva eyeshadow from the Coco Blends palette. I just have it depotted. This is a really warm brown. Um, so I'm going to pop this kind of the same area again, outer third and crease area and then I went back in with orange from MAC and just blended the edges with that because I wanted to make sure that that um, neon orange was kind of peeping out through the shadows. I'm using um, a liquid concealer from Essence to carve out my crease and lid area and I'm going to pop a Glam & Co Jewel Dust on top. So this is from the Glam & Co and Diane Ever collection and the shade I'm using is Princess. So it's a pearlescent pigment but it has a pink tone to it. So I'm popping that on top of where I put the concealer and that's going to be my shimmer shade. The next thing I'm doing is I'm just taking some of that Zoeva um, shadow from Coco Blends palette and I'm just intensifying where I've cut the crease just to make sure that it kind of looks really cut out. I don't want it to be too dark but I'm just slightly intensifying it so do this slowly. So for liner I am using the Inglot gel liner in 77 and I'm not doing a winged liner I'm just doing a line across the lid and really thickening it on the outer edge. I've kind of gone off winged liner right now so I'm just going for rounded smokes today instead. Um, and then I'm taking a black shadow from Fuchsia, it's called Leah and I'm just intensifying the outer edge with that black shadow. And then I've popped on a small bit of that Inglot gel liner just at the very very outer edge and then I'm going to smudge it with that black shadow just to like really darken up the outer edge. Um, I really like it especially when it's half cut crease look. Then I'm just making sure that everything is blended and I used a small bit of Lucy from Fuchsia to do that because it's a chocolate brown so it gave me a nice transition from the black into the warm brown shade. Under the eyes I'm using the NYX HD concealer in CW01 and I'm cleaning up the very edge of my shadow while doing this. I'm using the Real Technique sponge to buff it out and then I am baking with the collection Sheer Loose Powder and this is just going to make sure that the concealer stays put there all day even though we will be piling the glitter on. Um, I'm highlighting the center points of my face with that same concealer and again using the sponge to buff it out.
So I just kind of buffed and dusted away the bake from underneath my eyes and now I'm going to start doing the bottom eyeshadow. So I'm starting with 371 again from Inglot and this is just a bright blue colour but it's a great transition colour to start off with if you are going for blues. I wanted to pop colour on my bottom lash line so that's exactly what I'm doing. So I smoked that out very very roughly just really blowing it out and then I'm going on top of that with Gonzo from the Electric Palette which is just a brighter more neon blue and I'm putting this closer to the lash line and as you can see I am extending the blues out towards the outer edge of my eye just to give me a bit of a wing using shadow. I then use 307 from Inglot and I'm popping that really closely to my lash line. It's like a dark navy blue. I'm using this scandalized Rimmel um, eyeliner or chubby stick. I'm going to leave the name down below because I actually don't know it offhand but I'm just popping this into my waterline again for a pop of colour. To bronze up my face, I'm using the Deals bronzer. This is my all-time favourite bronzer and it's literally 150. If you don't have it, definitely pick it up. It's such a good bronzer. I feel like it just melts into the skin. So I'm bronzing my usual areas around the outer perimeter of my face. So the jawline, along my cheeks, temples and also along my forehead. As I said, I am going for a bronze look. So you can go quite heavy if you want. But I have gone in with this um, shade from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's called Sand and it's really really warm so that's really going to give me a bronze look you don't have to go as intense if you don't want to as my sister said yesterday I looked a little bit orange but just for festival why not just go a bit mad and then using an Inglot sculpting powder to contour and it is in the shade 508 so I'm just using that along my cheekbones along my nose underneath my lip and along the jawline as well for blusher I'm using this terracotta blusher from Flormar. It just has a lovely shimmer to it and it's nice and warm and coral so it's keeping in with the eyes. For my highlight I'm using the Urban Decay setting spray all over my face first and then I'm going in with the Glam & Co Jewel Dust in Petroleum. This is again a white pearlescent pigment but it has blue undertones so I wanted to do something fun for the highlight um, for a festival so I went with blue and I'm also using this to kind of smoke out my lower lash line eyeshadow. Um, you won't see it much when the glitter goes on top but it's just a nice little touch. I'm also using this on the inner corner so I've popped on the NYX Jumbo Pencil first and then I popped on the Petroleum pigment again. For the chunky glitter this is definitely the star of the show. This is called Seabreeze from Festival Faces. I got mine on Beauty Bay. I'm actually only after looking and it's currently sold out but I'd imagine they're going to stock it again. So to apply this I used a very very small amount of duo glue and I just patted it on very lightly and then went on top with the glitter. So you can do this in kind of small steps if you want. It's actually quite tricky to get the glitter on because it's so chunky that it doesn't tend to kind of sit on the brush. But um, if you just take your time it's grand you just have to build it up slowly then I'm highlighting my brow bone and I also popped on Belle lashes from Glam & Co off camera and then taking this Gerard Cosmetics Hydromat Liquid Lipstick and this is in West Coast and I'm using a bobby pin because everyone has them to create little dots just below my eyebrows. You can put these absolutely anywhere. I'm also putting two stripes across my nose because I just didn't know when to stop with this tutorial but I actually think it looked quite nice in the end. For lipstick I'm using a NYX suede lipstick and again I will pop the name in the info bar along with everything else because I can't remember the name off the top of my head. I didn't use a liner with this, I just went straight in with the bullet and it was actually pretty easy to apply. I'm then just putting on some bottom mascara. This is the Essence Extreme Lash Mascara I think it's called and then I took a temporary tattoo from Penny's so I literally cut it out of this hand one. This whole hand one was like 50 cent um, so I just cut out the piece that I wanted and I just placed it where I want and I take kitchen roll and just slowly but very gently wet the tattoo so don't have too much um, water on the the kitchen roll because it'll just drip down your face so I only used a small bit and it, it worked to just have to take your time um, now I'm just dotting eyelash glue where I'm going to stick these little sequins beside the temporary tattoo so I went with a purple one a kind of iridescent clear one and then I popped on a turquoise one so I just coordinated the left from the right but you can do absolutely anything with this I also did three above the temporary tattoo, so I did purple and then I did two turquoise. You could like actually do anything with this, you could just leave the tattoo by itself, you know yourself, I'm just giving you some inspiration. Um, but that is basically the look. I was really happy with how this turned out. I'm not actually going to a festival this year, I don't think, which is really sad, but I'm still
glad that I get to do the makeup and hopefully give you some inspiration. As I said, I will list all the products down below in order. So if you want to get any names or anything like that, that'll all be down in the info bar. All my social medias will also be linked down below because I know I've been quite um, inactive on YouTube lately. As always, thank you so much for watching my video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more of my videos and I will see you in the next one guys. Bye!